Hi everyone. We've heard about some uh, issues students have been having with installing Visual Studio and getting their first projects to run. And Microsoft has changed uh, the way that things work a little bit with this latest version of Visual Studio, which is 2017. And in this case, the community edition of, of Visual Studio 2017. So going to quickly look at a couple trouble spots that you may encounter, and hopefully this video will help you get around those, uh, those issues. So the first thing we'll look at is when you a screen that, that you'll see when you first install Visual Studio. You should see a screen that's very similar to this one that's loading right now. And uh, this, this screen here that contains workloads, components, and language packs. So this is the screen where you, where you will choose which components get installed with Visual Studio. And if you're starting out with C programming, you'll want to make sure that this workload is checked off desktop development with C++. So once you check that, these components will appear over here to let you know that as part of that workload, you're gonna get these things. And these are the things that will allow you to use Visual Studio to create uh, basic C programs that you'll encounter in, in, in your in intro to programming concepts. Now, if you've already installed Visual Studio and you didn't include this workload in your install, that's okay. What you can do is come up here to the tools menu in Visual Studio and choose Get Tools and Features. And uh, your, your OS may ask you to uh, allow the app to make changes to your device. You'll need to select Yes there. And once you do that, uh, that window that we just looked at will open, at which point you'll be able to select any workloads or components that you want to have installed in Visual Studio. So if, you, if later you decide you want to do some Python development, you can choose this workload. And as you can see, it's going to show you some things it's going to include to allow you to do Python development in Visual Studio. But for right now, uh, to start out, what you want to do is start out with desktop development with C++. Make sure you have that installed as part of your Visual Studio installation. That seems to be the main issue that people encounter when installing Visual Studio. Now let's look at starting a project. Uh, the way that we usually show folks to start a, a project in Visual Studio is we go up here to the File menu and say New Project. And I believe when you first install Visual Studio, what you're going to see is this uh, Visual... If, if you included the C++ workload, what you'll see is this uh, C++ is selected and the Windows Console application is chosen by default. That's not the uh, project type that you're going to want to use. What you're going to want to select is an empty project. And uh, once you do that, you will give the project a name, in this case, project example. And what you will want to see then uh, in your solution explorer over here is this sort of a, a bunch of empty folders where you can add things uh, as you create your project. So if we're going to do a Hello World project here in Visual Studio, what we'll do is we'll right click source files and say add new item. Make sure that a C++ file is selected. And here's a really important thing. When you go to create your, when you go to name your source file, you're going to want to make sure that you give it a name and then a .c extension. This is very important. If you don't give it the .c extension, you'll get some other things in your source file that won't allow it to work quite so easily. So let's go ahead and give it a .c extension. And once we do that, you can see that as I'm starting to type out hello world here, hello.c has been added over here under source files. So that's the file that we're working on currently. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish this hello world program very quickly. And we will see what that looks like. Okay, we have that, and we'll go ahead and run it with the debugger here. Yes, please build it. And we should see here a console window, hello world, press any key to continue. And this shows us that uh, our hello world program was successful. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this, this solution, this project. If you should happen to choose File, New Project, and accidentally create a project using this Windows console application, some things to look for that will let you know that you're probably on the wrong track is that you'll see this include uh, stdafx.h line in your program. And then over here in your Solution Explorer, you'll see some other resources that you don't 
that you don't want that you don't need for your for your first projects and, and that you don't want to get into trying to figure out so if you see these things over here uh, you'll know that that you've chosen the wrong sort of project so just go ahead and hit file close solution to get rid of that project and make sure that you do file new project and choose an empty project and then once again just to, to reiterate once you've created that empty project right click on source files add a new item you're going to choose a C++ file but once again once you name it make sure you give it a dot C extension down here and if you follow these steps you should be able to get your first programs off the ground with Visual Studio 2017